Okay, this one is really exciting. Welcome back, everybody. This one is the big guy. It's the Pizza Brick Oven Kitchens Creations. And you can make so many different kinds of pizza with this. Let's see. There's the top. And here's one side. They got like a dessert pizza. Here's the contents. It'll focus. Let me try to back it up. There we go. And this is the back. What does this say? 25 plus pieces? Yeah, there's a lot of stuff in this one. Um, I think it was about $15 at Walmart. I'm not sponsored by Walmart, but hey, if they want to sponsor me, bring it on. Okay, so, spoiler alert, I already put it together, so that's the brick oven right there. Um, there's nothing on the bottom, but there is a lot of topping pieces on the back here. Lots of toppings on the back. We have a few down here in the front, but the majority of them are back there. We do have some on the bottom of these plates. Some of them are on those. I'm sorry, my phone went off again. <laughs> okay. So... This does come with instructions because you do have to put the brick oven together. So this is the only one that's had instructions so far. So it tells you all of the pieces in there. And then on the inside it's going to tell you how to put everything together. And then it also comes with the please don't eat the Play-Doh. I think everything they do comes with please don't eat this play-doh for legal purposes so maybe we won't talk about that one from here on out it comes with a cute little pizza box I've seen some of the other pizza kits not this specific one but some of them come with pizza boxes that are like color they have color on them this one is just red and white but it is really cute really cute and then it opens up. We'll put we'll put our pizza in here today. And then we have two plates, so you can put a pizza in the to-go box. You can have like you can make pasta or whatever because I think it has like some pasta on here, or maybe an anti pasta salad of some kind. You can make a salad and a dessert pizza. Then it comes with this. This has these little shapes on here. I'm not really fond of the little tiny shapes on anything because they don't, the Play-Doh doesn't ever come out really looking like these shapes in in my experience maybe somebody else is more experienced at making play-doh tiny shapes it comes with a cheese grater which i think is so cute a pizza cutter um a serving uh i don't know what you call this like a pie server I'm not sure but one of those comes with a rolling pin it comes with a cheese play-doh it comes with white and pink play-doh it comes with red and green play-doh and it comes with a pizza crust brown play-doh so lots of pieces that we, oh, 
by the way, this is what I wanted the black Play-Doh for that I had been talking about in my previous videos because it took me forever to figure out what this was. Too, too long than I would like to admit. This right here is black olives and I had no idea. The first time I saw it, I thought it was uh, bell pepper, but no, the bell pepper is right there. So that was embarrassing. Um, and it was very hard to admit. But that's why I wanted this black Play-Doh. So, let's get started on the pizza because we have limited time. The pink and the white Play-Doh is supposed to be mixed together to make, like, red onion. And the pink can be used to make fish. There's like an like anchovy right there. I am not going to be using that because I do not like anchovies. But there's also shrimp on the back of here if you like shrimp. Um, I shan't be making any seafood today. I'm not a big seafood fan. I'm going to be making my favorite pizza in the entire world. And it's not going to be anything like you expect. Okay, let me make this come out. So, I'll show you how that works in just a minute. So, we need this dough. I'm going to try to make, I'm going to try to make two pizzas if I have time. I hope I have time to make two pizzas, but if I don't, don't get mad at me because I really want to make a dessert pizza and I want to make this pizza, but I'm going to make my pizza first. So... Roll the dough out a little bit, help it along. If you if you don't squish it out and you put it on here, it doesn't really look too great. Okay. Just flatten it out some to help it. It is just plastic, so put that on there. Okay. You should let me do it from this way. Shove your pizza in the oven. Okay. Shove your pizza in the oven. Then you're going to push down on this. Push down on it. And there it goes spinning out. This is supposed to this is supposed to be to hold your um your pizza thing, whatever it's called. So now, your pizza's in the oven, just come out, it's very hot. So, let's pretend like we're not touching it with our hands. And there we go, put the pizza on the thing. Now, I am not a fan of pizza sauce. So, we are going to be doing a pesto pizza. So, wait, we need to put the cheese on it first. I'm getting ahead of myself. Cheese. Cheese time. Nope, didn't work. Okay. This cheese is like cut into three different colors of cheese know how you're supposed to get that out of there like that it the split colors of play-doh don't really make a whole lot of sense to me because you can't really use them like that I know they look pretty but I don't really think they're worth a whole lot because it's hard to get them out so I just mixed it all together Ooh, look at all that cheese look at all that cheese Sorry if you hear my phone go off. We're going to pile this cheese on, boy. There we go. It's a lot of cheese. Let's melt it down some. Okay. Melted cheese. Now, let's make our pesto. Got to have leaves for pesto because it comes from leaves, doesn't it? Now, normally, my, the pizza that I make at Pyro's has all of the veggies on it. 
I don't think I'm going to have time to make all the veggies, but I'm going to make some pretty ones for you today. So, there's the, there we go. There is the, there's the leaf right there. We're going to make the leaf. Alright, look, it just popped right on out. I'm gonna make a couple of leaves. Maybe three. Maybe two. I don't know. Probably two. Let's put that back in there. Awesome. Okie dokie. Two pesto leaves. They also have pickles on here, which I don't know why. Do people put pickles on pizza? Does anybody do that? Please tell me if you put pickles on your pizza. I would love to know. I'm an inquiring mind that wants to know. Tell me if you're as old as I am and you know what I'm talking about when I say inquiring minds want to know. There's also a pineapple slice on here for all of those out there who want to have a heated argument in the comments. Please don't do that. Don't argue in my comments about if pineapple goes on pizza. Because anything will go on pizza that you want. Let's see. Do I want to put pepperoni on this? I usually don't put pepperoni on my pizza when I go to Pyro's. What if we put some chili peppers on it? Yeah chili pepper look at this chili pepper you guys look at that little chili pepper that's going to go right on there we're going to make this boy hot okay got us a little chili pepper here we go I know that I want a mushroom on mine let's put a mushroom on there Yes. You could make your mushrooms brown, I guess, if you want, but I think the white ones are neat. Uh, white mushroom. Definitely black olives. I like green, too. Green olives are awesome, too, but for the sake of this pizza, I want black olives. Oh my goodness, look at that. Look at, well you can't see that. Because <laughs> my background is black. Cute. That's going to be about all I can fit on there. Um, for the sake of my time have about six minutes left and I want to make a dessert pizza. I could have put tomatoes on there, but oh well, that's fine. Let's box her up. Put this, put this bad boy in the pizza box, ready to be delivered. That looks so yummy, yummy. All right, let's close it up for a minute. Okay. Now, don't really have any dough to make another one with. But I tell you what, we can do. We can make a fruit salad for sure. A for sure fruit salad. So let's get this plate, put this back on here, okay. So we have the fruit on the bottom of this one. This plate has a lobster and a carrot and some uh, 
like a bow tie pasta on it. I don't think you can see that very good, but this one has fruit on here. It's got strawberries and watermelon and blueberry, um, cucumber and a citrus slice, I guess. We're going to go for pineapple right here real quick, which is super, super, super cute, super, super cute. No more fruit on there. What's back here? We have a strawberry. <laughs> that's the only fruit that's on there is a strawberry. So we'll go with that. Everything else, there's bacon on here. There's a tomato slice, a slice of Swiss cheese, a sausage weenie. Um, pepperoni, cauliflower, a Hershey Kiss, oddly enough, and then a piece of garlic, onion, and a fried egg. Who puts fried eggs on their pizza? Is that anything that anybody you know does? I'm not... I'm not saying that that's a bad thing to do. I just don't know anybody who does that. Is that a northern thing? Or is it a southern thing and I just don't know? Because I'm confused right now. I need to put this on these because I can't get to this if I don't. So we got to do a watermelon. So let's get a piece of green. Oh, I'm running out of time. I hate that. Did that work? I don't know. I think it just made a mess. No, it worked a little. Oh, oh my gosh. Um, it's cute. Cute little watermelon piece. Okay. That's going to be, well, there's a citrus slice on here. Let's go for, I don't have any great colors to do any citrus with right here. I should have got some other colors out of my box. Let's try to do an orange or something. Yeah, that works. That works for now. So let's transfer these back here so that you can see the red better because you can't really see them on there. Alright, that's going to do it for today. Let's see about moving this out of the way. I really dislike having a time limit, but it is so hard for me to put together two videos. So, alrighty guys, that's going to do it for the pizza fun time. I'm going to do another video on pizza. I promise we're going to do more pizza party time videos. Uh, just stick with us and this will get better. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you have a great day. See you next week. Bye-bye.